Hezbollah fired hundreds of rockets and drones towards Israel on Sunday in response to the killing of a Hezbollah commander in Beirut last month. The group said it fired over 320 Katyusha rockets and used drones to target 11 military targets in Israel. The group said this attack was the first phase of revenge for the assassination of Fuad Shakr, a senior commander, in Beirut last month but warned that the full scale of the revenge would take time to be executed. The Israeli military said that it foiled an even bigger attack by targeting Hezbollah positions as the group was planning to launch the barrage of attacks. The Sunday's confrontation was one of the most violent one between two sides recently. Israel says 100 of its jets bombed thousands of Hezbollah launch sites in southern Lebanon half an hour before the planned Hezbollah launch, to protect Israelis from the planned attack. Hezbollah dismissed Israel's assertion that it had prevented a greater attack, saying that its operation was successful for the day. The chance of rising tensions between the two sides has risen since a missile attack in the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights last month which killed 12 teenagers that led to Israel's killing of Shakr in Beirut. The Israeli cabinet met at 7 a.m. local time on Sunday, according to Netanyahu's office, but no further information regarding further Israeli operations was released. Israel's defense minister Yov Gallant declared a nationwide special situation for 48 hours from 6 a.m. on Sunday.